I bought all these barefoot shoes so you don't have to. We're gonna go over brands which are expensive like Vivo Barefoot, middle of the range like Zero Shoes, budget, things on Amazon, DIY sandals, things from Decathlon. We've got pretty much everything here and more not even shown on camera. So let's get right into it. So we're gonna start here with the Vivo Barefoot shoes. And the Vivo Barefoot shoes are, in my opinion, the pinnacle of performance footwear. Material science, design, philosophy, aesthetics, they are really nothing comes close. I use these for everything from soccer, running, sprinting, trail running, climbing, for every sport you can really think of. They've never let me down. They have the highest material technology, the best fit, best style, uh, best comfort in my opinion. And overall, they're really damn hard to beat. Downsides of Vivo Barefoot shoes are they're pretty darn expensive and sometimes hard to get a hold of. However, some of this can be mitigated if you just deal hunt properly. I have a link in the description to help you find sales on Vivo Barefoot shoes from 30 to 50% off. But how does Vivo Barefoot compare? How is it Vivo Barefoot versus Zero Shoes? How do they compare? Well, let's go into it. Zero Shoes are touted as a good alternative to Vivo Barefoot, especially if you're on a budget. Um, however, you can really notice the differences in the quality of the lacing, the quality of the material, the weight of the shoe. Now, one thing about Zero Shoes is they're actually really tough. And while this actually sacrifices performance and grip, um, in the long term, you're actually going to burn through shoes less. The tread is just much tougher and harder, which is a downside because consequently they're not nearly as grippy or high performing. I would go with Zero Shoes if you're looking kind of like for a daily shoe and don't really care so much about the style and performance or aesthetics. But in terms of feel and comfort, I really just didn't love the Zero Shoes. They felt clunky, um, just didn't feel like a premium product and you can tell the lacing is not as high quality. Um, the feeling just isn't quite there. The material science isn't really uh, anything spectacular. No offense to Zero Shoes, but there is a clear quality difference between that of Zero and of Vivo Barefoot. Now, the Barefoot shoes you'll find on Amazon, they definitely don't exactly look premium. Uh, I mean, there's like generic plastic here. Um, the toes are odd. The glues kind of come in here. They're all right, but not... Um, not all what I would consider performance shoes. Um, you can use these hiking and on the trails and running and stuff, but you kind of get what you pay for in the end. And uh, what you pay for is pretty low, which is good, which is very good. So I think these are great to get into barefoot without such a huge investment. However, you can be scared off of barefoot if, um, if you know you're using a pretty bad shoe. In terms of sandals, I mean, sandals are about as close to barefoot as you can get without being fully barefoot, which is great if you want, you know, that feeling. Um, but guess which one of these performs better? If you guessed my floppy little weird leather sandals, you'd be correct. These are far more comfortable, they're custom fit. I've gone trail running, I've gone up mountains with these. I adore these. The decathlon ones, on the other hand, um, they're generic. They're about as heavy as my Vivo Barefoot shoes, if you would believe it. The tread, the profile's not really quite there. They're not comfortable. Um, but they're cheap and I use them daily for commuting around town, going to the beach, because they are sandals. 30 bucks. Um, but yeah. So the Vivo Barefoot shoes are what I think are the absolute best in material science and technology in terms of performance and sort of aesthetics, in terms of comfort and feeling that locked in but still highly comfortable feeling. I absolutely just love Vivo Barefoot. And if you find these on sale, which just check down below, you'll find them for 30 to 50% off. If you find them on sale, they're suddenly, you know, a lot more affordable. I always have the philosophy in mind, spend the most money on the three things that separate you from the ground. Your mattress, your tires, and your shoes. This is where your total body health starts from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Your feet is where your total body health starts. Your posture, injuries, anything. If you're new to barefoot running and movement, check out my series on how to get started with barefoot running and movement. I go over some techniques, some frequently asked questions, and I even have exercise programs and regimens that you can follow along and learn. For me, barefoot running changed my entire life, so follow those videos uh, to get started deeply. If you want to help me out, please cycle along and subscribe, help algorithm boost me, because I'm just a little tiny bitty channel trying to grow decently. I'd really appreciate the help.